Homo sapiens. What an inventive, invincible species. It's only a few million years since they crawled up out of the mud and learned to walk. Puny, defenseless bipeds. They've survived flood, famine and plague. They've survived cosmic wars and holocausts. Now, here they are, out among the stars, waiting to begin a new life. Ready to outsit eternity. They're indomitable. Indomitable. It's like the great stories, Mr. Frodo, the ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were, and sometimes you didn't want to know the end, because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad has happened? I now know. Folks in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going, because they were holding on to something. That there's some good in the world, Mr. Frodo, and it's worth fighting for. Except for those time round boys who've got no idea what the fuck they were up to. <laughs> oh, welcome to time round. <laughs> Eventually. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a Doctor Who podcast, allegedly. And uh, <laughs> we're talking tonight. <laughs> About yeah. the Tom Baker story, the Ark in Space. Yes, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm soldiering on. I'm keeping going. That's <laughs> okay. We you could carry have on there. You, you go for it. I'm all for bloody mind. Don't do it, Mister Frodo. <laughs> Don't go dropping no eaves. We could have turned back years ago, but we're still going. <laughs> yeah. Episode sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. Hello. Someone call oh, that. <laughs> Dudes. Because um, his trousers have dropped. <laughs> oh, cool, blimey. Where was I? Yes, the Ark in Space. In such vulgar baldry. <laughs> <laughs> For about five seconds. <laughs> I'm carrying on. It's the Ark in Space. Yeah. It's yes. a fourth Doctor story, originally starring Tom Baker, which we have time rammed to now star Paul McGann, which means it's been made in America in the 1990s. Yes. A bit like the Red Dwarf USA pilot, which uh, I probably shouldn't <laughs> talk about. Which was more important to you <laughs> than Helen Mirren? <laughs> Sorry, yes, I should explain to listener that uh, I was a little bit late onto the call tonight. Uh, I was otherwise engaged watching a YouTube documentary. You forgot. You forgot. I forgot. Us. I forgot. You forgot I'm you, sorry. listener. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's all gone terribly badly. <laughs> I'll give it time. We haven't gone to Australia. Uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> so yeah i believe the ark in space is mentioned in the leakly bible but i never got around to looking at it are you going to introduce us oh yes good point <laughs> i'll do that bit again yeah my name is still barry williams probably shouldn't be anymore but it is <laughs> and um joining me tonight for this epic discussion i have my good friends mr paul ferry hello <laughs> mr rupert booth get your hands off my ring frodo <laughs> I should mention yes. I've been at work all day and I'm really tired as well, so this could be a disaster. <laughs> um, so, boys, yeah, I should let you speak. 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 Oh, no, I'm good you're doing so well. Carry oh, on. Okay. It's going great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and enjoy. I just want to say I really like the orchestra. I really, really like it. I, I, like would, say it's, it's I would great. say it's top five for me of yeah. all time. I, I'm a big it's, fan of the Arkansas. It is brilliant, yeah. I mean, I bet people watching it back in 1975 must have blown their bloody socks off, you know. Yeah. After the last season of Pertweed, uh, that was, yeah, this is where Tom Baker and Philip Hinch could kick in. Yeah. Yeah. And with a bang. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 
I remember Cause, seeing because robot once. robot essentially is just a Pertwee story, isn't it? It's, it's Barry Letts. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. it's yeah. Sergeant Ben was there. Um, yeah, and all that sort of thing. And Sergeant Benton isn't in the Ark in space. No. Oh no. Spoilers. No. But no, he's not. No, no one. Yeah. Not even. Not even in this version. No. 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 Well, it might happen in the next half hour. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Who yeah. knows? <laughs> um. Well, yeah. that's straight from that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just going to say, Sergeant apparently... Benton is Noah. Maybe it's kind of like, you know, you get like five minutes of Vara going, hmm, prime unit. Um, and then the door opens and Benton comes out and goes, blimey, doctor. And and Paul McGowan goes, Sergeant Benton, hello, and kisses them all over and all that sort of bit. Um, With tongues? Yes, yes. Um, this is the chicken. Uh, and then the ghost of William Shatner turns up and goes, Sergeant Benton, the chosen one. And vanishes again because that's his contractual obligation for the week. Um, John Levine did have a bit of a USA career, didn't he? In the nineties, he was a, he was in Hollywood. Was John working. Levine was in America in the nineties. Yes, calling yeah. it a career. I, I mean, you know, that's good. <laughs> that's and he also worked on nice. cruise ships. I seem yeah. to remember. Mm, he yeah. was a comedian on cruise ships under the name Johnny Redboots. Johnny Redboots, a comedian, yeah. and John and Johnny Bingo. That's where I got Johnny Bingo from oh. for that time oh. of story. Johnny, uh, Bingo. Bingo. Johnny Bingo is John Levine. A... <laughs> yeah. Blimey. Wow. Mind blown. blown. Yeah. <laughs> colon oh, blown. <laughs> I've told you the colon yeah. story, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved to see him do a stand-up. I bet that's amazing. Well, I mean, this is America. You know, they have to talk about having boy bands in Voyager and all that sort of thing. Maybe they're saying, oh, we should have a comedian turning up in every Doctor Who story. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe John Levine would have turned up in the Ark in space doing a bit of that's all right, so it's so all part way through the arc in space. Think this is getting a bit dark. We better get a stand up on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just have the bit where Noah's going, "Kill me." Um, <laughs> that bit in that was cut, you know, and then you cut away <laughs> on Levine just reviving in in the revivification <laughs> chamber, and he starts giving it a bit of, "All right, all right, out your father." Um, <laughs> virus. He, he, he what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it could be worse. <laughs> And Vara just goes, yeah, regressive and shoots the fuck off, off his head <laughs> on the floor. Right, we don't talk about him. Sorry. Don't know how he got here. Sorry about that. <laughs> and the doctor goes, Sergeant Benton starts kissing the corpse. Yeah. Okay. Tongues. Well, you've been listening to Time Ramps, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and we still can't work out why. <laughs> the problem with doing this in the 90s is everyone's now going to go, oh, it's ripping off Alien, when... The original mm, version yeah. was what, yeah. five, six years before Alien. Yeah. Something like that. But well, it's not that rippy offy. Um, no, no not extent. really. Just the yeah, idea of, yeah. The, the alien gestates and grows within yeah. the human form. But I mean, insects. Well, I mean, this story <laughs> is clearly forms. clearly ripping off Quatermass quite left, right, and centre. So, I mean, you know. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. They've got uh, those scenes where the. Uh, aliens have taken over their minds. It's very Quatermass. Oh, Quatermass experiment. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. totally... And uh, the bit where he takes the wor- the worms... Worm? The worm. The worm's worm. eye. And they, they, they're eye. getting... The worm. 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 They're getting pictures out of it. That's quite a mess in the pit, you know. So Isn't it a shame it wasn't a McCoy story? Because it would just be constantly... Worm. Oh, yeah. Why the worm? As we were saying last week, though, again, you know, he's going to scouse the fuck out of this. Mm. True, true. You know, True. with all those. It is the most scouse-sounding villain. Fucking Wirren. The Wirren from the Wirral. Well, so with that in mind, should we cast a, a, um, a leading scouser as Noah? <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, do we want to do some plot before we get to that point? <laughs> Let's do that. Let's do some Let's, plot. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, we do open with some uh, model shots of the uh, of the wheel mm-hmm. in space. Yeah. 
and um, we get sort of alien PMB. CSO. They should have not done it with CSO. They should have just done nasty on film like normal. It uh, does look terrible, unfortunately. Yeah, awful. yeah, awful. It's not yeah. good. Yeah. So yeah, we don't get to see much. It's the usual sort of green surround, and it's arriving on the yeah. arc, mm-hmm. and then the TARDIS arrives. Um, yeah. It's dark. There's not much oxygen. And the doctor comes out with Sarah and Harry, except of course he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. No. no. Is, that, is it Grace? Grace. And Lee Grace. Or, or, yeah, Grace. Grace and oh. Grace and Lee. Chang yeah. Lee. Grace yeah. Chang Lee. Cool. Yeah. I think there's plenty for both of them to do, really, isn't it? It's kind of yeah. yeah. Well, there's plenty for both Harry and Sarah to do. It's a very well constructed story. Mm. Yeah. Makes good use of the companions. Gives yeah. them completely separate existences as well that aren't mm. all you know around the doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, I guess we don't need to change much here. Um, the doctor yeah. turns the power on. Uh, Grace yeah. wanders off. Uh, the, the door closes behind her. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we sort of learn this station was built in sort of uh, the uh, 2900s. Yeah. Uh, but this yeah. is thousands of years later. After the solar flares. After yeah. the solar flares, yeah. Which is presumably what Harry's wearing. I always thought I just kind of went, oh, I've got <laughs> solar flares. So uh, we get some... he won't be wearing them, of course, will he? Unless he's unless no. going to be, be delving through the wardrobe and turn, turn up as kind of like 70s guy. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah, no, Lee's going to... I suppose he might raid the TARDIS wardrobe. He might be wearing something eccentric that he's found, just found for himself. Yeah. You know? yeah. Let's give him completely 70s gear. Let's give him like massive collars and things and he's just kind of walking around. <laughs> Well, thinking he's like some sort of seventies gangster, <laughs> like he's seen in Shaft and things like that. Right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's been. And the gang goes, "Oh yeah, Shaft. I met him." Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, he didn't. He's fictional. They're all fictional. <laughs> <laughs> then kisses him. Yeah. 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 With tongues. Tongues. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. In areas. Yeah. <laughs> The voice that comes out of Changi's area is going, This is a sterile area! Keep out! <laughs> uh, so they have some problems getting the oxygen on. Yeah. Uh, there's some wires have been cut. Uh, so the doctor does some repairs. I bet Changi's doing witty stuff about not wanting to die too young and things like that. Mm. <sighs> this is where they make a bit of an error because um, Grace has passed out. She's passed out from lack of oxygen. They put her on the on a couch. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like a couch. It ain't no couch. It's a teleport. A teleport, yeah. That's, that's the nice. best teleport in the universe. You have a nice lie down. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. All that's the other comfy. porters and teleports and things, you're standing up and you're, you know, mm-hmm. you've got bracelets on or communicators or whatever. No, you have a nice lie down. And you're somewhere else. Yeah. Captain Kirk never did that, did he? You, but, hey. you never see Captain Kirk go, <laughs> right, I'm going to teleport, and he goes for a nice, nice lie down, and then, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Turns up on someone on some other couch somewhere. Yeah, turns up prone on an alien planet. Um, Always wondered if that's what happens in in Logan's run. You know when he summons um, what's her face and 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 it's, it's I've always thought is it a hologram on there, but then she just sort of... oh yeah, he's just looking through the different yeah yeah. It's like Tinder, isn't it? He's swiping. Is that hollow... He's swiping these other teleporting and, and then teleport out again. Nah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Imagine teleport and Tinder combined. Hey, let's invent that. <laughs> yeah. Star Trek The Next Generation, for a while, they had the thing, didn't they, where occasionally people would beam down and they'd be like facing a wall or they'd be kind of mm-hmm. not mm. not out in the open. And they yeah. just like abandoned that really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just in like the first five or six episodes and then they kind of just stopped doing oh, this that. This is just... Yeah. just... Throwing the story down, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's obviously the kind of drama compensator in the transporter that makes sure you turn up just facing wherever you need to be facing. Yeah. The stance. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I lost a bit in the middle there, so uh, just before you oh. said fall over, um, yeah, you froze um, a bit for me, you froze in that stance, it was very dramatic, yeah. It oh. was. I try, I try. I was talking about Blake Seven when, yeah, again, in the early in the first season, sometimes they'll teleport down and just go, oh, yeah, 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 you know, it really sells it to me. Yeah, because um, the gravity is yeah. different or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah.
So yeah, in Doctor Who world, they put uh, they put Grace on a couch because she's passed out, mm-hmm. and um, she's still in a ball gown. Yeah, she's in a ball she's gown. In a ball gown. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She's having uh, a good eve before when she was, you know, she was going. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. uh, that was very serious, wasn't it? Yeah, and, yeah. and, and, and Grace will probably go. I can't breathe, and this is exactly the amount of. I don't know, hypoxia or whatever that I'll be suffering in the next five minutes unless like just just to reinforce the fact she's a doctor. I like the fact yeah. that she's she's uh in Sarah's uh this lady's asked uh Ian Martyr to make sure that she doesn't he doesn't flash her knickers. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of tries, bless him, <laughs> but completely <laughs> fucks out. <laughs> Got a bit of grace card and breathe in a ball gown. Imagine the bloody heaving of her bottom. Because uh, uh, yeah, it's it's heaving quite a bit. In the TV movie, you need, need to rip a corset open, and uh, yeah. I think so. Uh, I think we have that, that opera music play. <laughs> if she passes out, that'll be like great. <laughs> I thought you meant just as a sort of <laughs> just generally close of her bosom heaving <laughs> to opera music. Why not? <laughs> Why not, indeed? Let's not talk about heaving bosoms too much. This <laughs> no. <laughs> This would actually be a good chance for her to get rid of the opera uh, gown, wouldn't it? Because uh, Sarah yes. changes costumes in this, doesn't she? So, yeah, she does. She could, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, she could ditch the gown at that point. Well, they put yeah. in one of those white suits, so it's not yeah. explained what happened to her own clothes. I mean, presumably they got vaporised or destroyed somehow. <laughs> it's, but, it's, not, it's not really yeah. stated. Uh, yeah, but I'd be a bit annoyed if I was there. <laughs> so, where's my dress? <laughs> <laughs> His grace is now slightly jewelry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. dress. It was before could dress. Fucking dress. Fucking knack you. Didn't take a job off that. <laughs> I'm a doctor. <laughs> like different. <laughs> um, I've got a few places of jewelry as well. I was kind of, oh, really? Well, <laughs> what the hell didn't get red? She like. <laughs> Etc. <laughs> so as I was saying, yes, um, she vanishes, she disappears, she wakes up in the suspended yes. animation booth. Yeah, um, it's quite clever the way they do it. It's kind of implied that she's going to die, but um, that's not it. That's yeah. not it, folks. In the meantime, the Doctor and Lee are dealing with um, this um, thing that comes out from the ceiling. I think, when, yeah, we're straight now to the thing coming out of the ceiling and them going around under the table, which is great stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's nice, yeah. It's quite mm. nicely paced, this as well. I don't know if you do it in one 45-minute stretch or mm. if you st- pad it out to two episodes. I don't know. There would be good um, financial reasons for padding it out because you this is all sets. This is all sets, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's true. Cheaper for the BBC in the 70s. It's not going to be cheaper for the 90s, I would think, because you know, you're know going to have... Well, I was going to say, you're going to have pretty big sets, but you know, they had pretty big sets. Yeah. Roger Murray yeah. Leach. I love Roger Murray Leach as a designer. He's a fantastic designer. Yeah, I mean, it is difficult. You, know, you watch Star Trek in this generation. I mean, obviously, they've got those standing sets that are massive mm. that they use every week. Yeah. And mm. obviously, they, they focus on them because the expense of building another set yeah. for each episode is, is massive. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They keep them to uh, a minimum. Yeah. Uh, the problem with Doctor Who is that your only standing set you're doing that every TARDIS. single episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's difficult. So... I don't know quite what they do. So, yeah. Yeah, well, well episodes, let's... didn't they? Hmm? Mm-hmm. They called them bottle episodes, didn't they? On they American did. television, they did. the ones where bottle, they, bottle they just use the sets. Yeah. yeah. For the same reason, yeah. Obviously, if you can write one on board the Enterprise, it's cheaper. Yeah. Um, so I assume that in Armageddon era, we're skipping dozens of bottle episodes where they're just doing the TARDIS playing cards. <laughs> so, right. Let's well, hope, let's get, hope get Edge of Destruction, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and journey to the centre of the TARDIS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, they get this sparky thing comes down from the ceiling, uh, zaps them yeah. for a bit. So they have to deal with that by hiding under a table, and eventually they, they, they outwit it basically. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, but, I mean, because the way they outwitted is is it's very Harry, it's very British, you know, the whole cricket ball bit and all that sort of stuff. Mm. Yeah. It's great um, stuff. It's brilliant. Yeah, we're not going to have that. With, I mean, Chang Lee is going to be more like they have a pistol on them and just start like blazing away at the motherfucker. <laughs> he can do that. <laughs> But he'll fail, and the doctor will, will come up with a clever way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Scouse way. The Scouse way. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's going. Oh, you got a pistol on you. <laughs> he, he hums 
a Beatles song at it, and that turns out to be the correct turn off code. He stands there going, Beatles Calm song. down, calm down. <laughs> in the future, have all become no, 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 don't try and do normal accents. <laughs> um, Harry throws his shoe at it, doesn't he? So if, um, yeah. Chang Li is in his seventies gear. He's got a like massive, you know, noddy holder and platform yeah. boot that he can throw at it. Right. What he just hoofs it and it breaks because there's a massive yeah. boot in it. <laughs> oh, we can have a it's huge medallion. Oh, we can have a medallion reflect it, <laughs> the power back to it and break it. In ways, there's some Saturday Night Fever moves. He's like, yeah, do 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 Yeah, excellent. Yeah, yeah. Great. Come on, Lee. Think of the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say think of the Bee Gees? I'm always thinking of the Bee Gees. <laughs> I met the Bee Gees. I was there when I wrote the last song. Oh, it was so sad. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just staying alive, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, they deal with that. <laughs> um, and then they, they get to explore. They go out on the... Um, in a Bee Gees way, which is pretty damn impressive. Put in a Bee Gees way, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolutely, yeah. I'm liking this 70s themed episode. Yes, yeah. this is great. This is yeah. great. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have maybe started with the scene in the TARDIS with Lee just strutting in, kind of going, "Hey, look at Doing this stuff." Kid. Yeah, my dad used to wear this shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and the guy going, "No, he didn't. I've never had your dad aboard the TARDIS." <laughs> <laughs> and Grace going, <laughs> "Eve." <laughs> I love the fact that in the original, you know, Harry loses his shoes, like mm-hmm. really early on in episode one. Mm-hmm. And you think, and so he's basically spending the rest of the story yeah. in his socks. He's in his socks yeah. for the next four episodes. It's so it's British. Great. Yeah. I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. goes and gets some wellies right at the end, and that's it. He's been right, in socks yeah, up yeah. to that point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, out of the TARDIS, mm-hmm. which has been there all the time, and he could have gone and got <laughs> shoes out of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it's only where the doctor says we're going to Dartmoor now, he thinks, oh, yeah. I want something on my feet. But, uh, yeah. It's a mean to go on my socks. Yeah. So uh, they go around, as you say, the Murray Lo- uh, Roger Murray Leach sets. Brilliant. Mm. Uh, yeah. this, this sort of gantry around the, yeah. around the space yeah. station. It's great. It um, doesn't fit the model in any way at all. But hey. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they could probably match it a bit better with an American budget. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, shots yeah. now of looking out, well, now, then, in the 90s, of them looking out and seeing the huge turn mm. of space and stuff. You know, yeah, you'd yeah. pull out. You'd have that bloody shot where you pull out from the window, and yeah, see and, the model. And they're on Deep Space yeah. Nine. Dun, dun, yeah, dun, dun, dun. and there's also some bubble wrap uh, yeah. on the floor. There won't be in this, obviously. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> it does let it down. The bits there is obviously just plastic that someone's just draped across it the set. Like, yeah. uh, I wish they put a little bit more effort into the goo trail. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Even if you forgive the rest, the Gudra is like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Of course, if they've just taken the lights down somewhat. I mean, I like I like the whole antiseptic sort of white lighting thing, mm. but in the transom, yeah. you could have taken the lights down a bit, and that would have sold that fine then. Yeah, yeah. would work better. Yeah, or you could have had the lights failing when they got there, you know, and that's a clue as to why you know the powers. This isn't right. <laughs> it doesn't really look as if it's been there yeah. for thousands of years. It's got reset. It, doesn't, it? it does not. Yeah. Which yeah. I'm down with because I'm, um, you know, technology built so far in the future probably will be better self maintaining than we'd expect. Yeah, so we're fine with that. Yeah. But mm. and they, they don't, they, they learn absolutely nothing from this by the time they get to Revenge of the Cybermen, do they? Because you've, yeah. you've got you've got these mannequins <laughs> that are quite obviously mannequins in the yeah. brightly lit corridor. Yeah. You'd have thought the director of that might have thought actually it was a brightly lit in the uh, Arkin space. I think I'll take it down a bit. Probably didn't even see Ark in space. No. No. <laughs> um, so yeah, they 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 find their way to uh, a cryogenic repository mm, yeah. uh, with the entire human race in it, which is great. All the rest in little chambers. I yeah. can't see any way you design the spot from basically the same. It's such a striking yeah. design. It makes it's total sense. Done. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, it would probably be have have it would be bigger. I think it would be darker. Uh. Um, yeah. Probably metallic. It would have another chamber rather than just a mirror. Mm. Uh, yeah. Another mirror is really clever. It's, you know, you don't, you don't it's sold. You don't really, yeah, you don't really think about it. Yeah. And they, well, they don't use. It. I think they use it twice on, or something like that. So you don't get time to spot the trick. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Hinchcliffe and his designers were very good at that. Yeah. Uh, mm. Really spending the money as effectively as possible. Uh, as I really enjoy that episode one is just the three of them as well. It's great. Yeah. The, 
They yeah. really spend some time building the atmosphere. Um, yeah, yeah. It's superb, yeah. And, of course, the Doctor gets his speech at this point about uh, how they're ready to yeah. out yeah. eternity. And McGann's um, going to do exactly the same words, I think, in a completely different yeah. way, but still superbly. Yeah. yeah. It'll be yeah, a defining yeah. eight Doctor man. Yeah. We'll all love him. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Then he'll just start opening each one of the things and start kissing him and everything like that. <laughs> With tongues. Uh, in the areas. <laughs> in the frozen, frozen areas. And that starts the revivification program. <laughs> Getting tongues when we can. Yeah. I guess that would work for most people, really. Yeah. That would work for most people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Start the next generation early. You know, go for it. Go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, um, they find a trail on the floor and Lee finds uh, Grace. She's in one of the caskets, she's up on the wall yep. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, 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 Grace. It'll be all that sort of bit. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah, she's stuck there for eternity unless they can find a way to revive her. So they, they look for a resuscitation kit. Wern. Yeah. Wern. Door Wern. And Lee, it'll be Lee. Lee opens the door and the Wern falls out at him. Commercial time. They all say who is Doctor. This is Tim Trelaw. This is David J. Howe. I'm Peter Purvis. I am C.G. Miller. This is Lauren Cornelius. Larry, it's Fraser. For all things in the Doctor Who collecting world and beyond, the Doctor Who Collectors Podcast. I'm Larry Van Mersberg and your host, and I've been collecting for 42 years. You're listening to Time Ram on the Direction Point Podcast Network. Okay, so yeah, Wern. Wern falls out of a cover. It did. It did. Which is a bit of luck, really. What do the wearing look like? Probably not the same because they, they they do let it down a little bit. Um, I, I think that I think they look great in photos. Um, they look great when they're not moving. Um, yeah, that, it's, yeah. It's, it's, a lot it's the legs. It's the, the legs. It's, you know. Yeah, and it's you know the lack of. I mean, at least the Zabi have legs. Mm. Uh, that are not I think they'll still be insecty. Yeah, I mean, they might be CGI. It's mid nineties. That's it's perfectly achievable. They might be CGI. Just yeah. about well, as well. I suppose Babylon like 5 was doing it. Yeah. Big, big puppets, you know. Yeah. It could yeah. look better. Mm-hmm. I mean, that could look really good. Yeah. No, it would look better. Um, yeah. yeah. Let's let's say they have the budget. and the, You know what probably happened is that they have the budget to build one um, animatronic, sort of, you know, big puppet type thing. And then the scenes where you see them outside, which are a terrible model shot in the original, there'll be terrible <laughs> CGI that's dated really badly in yeah. the 90s version. Yeah, yeah, probably would be. Yeah. And, it, and it's locked into NTSC as well, you know, they won't be able to remaster that from the film prints like the rest of it. <laughs> like Babylon 5. Yeah. Poor <laughs> Babylon 5. Yeah. <laughs> that's told them at the time, again. don't do it like CG. I said to JMS. Yeah. There I was, 22 years old, going, no, JMS, don't do that. But you wouldn't listen. And I was right. right. I was on the phone to him, I was like, JMS, seriously, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Helen Mirren got on the phone to him, I remember that. Yeah. You know, it, it happened. Saying no, you'll hurt me, and then they just went. Well, I'm doing it anyway, and she went, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it was not a good scenario. No, when well, they split up, Barney. Anyway, yeah. Um... <laughs> but when they met, it was moider. <laughs> it was Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Is that who she left Christopher to be a bead for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, you don't see him in the same room anymore. It's uh, you nah, know, yeah. it, was, it, was, nah. it went really badly. You never get Christopher H. Bidmead and Helen Mirren at the same convention. No. 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 Which is a shame because she's done a lot of Doctor Who. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Frequently uncredited. <laughs> Frequently. It's surprising you don't see her at more Doctor Who conventions. You don't. You? I mean, not yeah. one I've seen her at. No. You know, I don't no, know not which one. Is ashamed. Yeah. She's trying to pretend it didn't happen. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, blocking it. No, I didn't do Doctor yeah. Who. But we know like, different. Like Joseph Simon. While we're on the subject, um, <laughs> yeah. someone else wakes up on the in the revivification chambers, yeah. yeah, and it's Vira, Vira, Helen Mirren, Helen Mirren, hey, <laughs> awesome American actress. I don't know, um, <laughs> no, Helen Mirren, <laughs> yeah, Terry Farrell. Oh, oh, well, now I mean, ah, uh, you see, I've tempted you. Yeah, <laughs> I do see, uh... I do see. Mm. It's kind of likely as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Could really happen. obsessed with that pilot, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Since yes. I've watched it, it's all I thought about, you know, ten minutes ago. You know, Clearly. yeah. Um, <laughs> Terry Farrell in a cat suit. No, right, say, Terry Farrell, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or even Jane Leaves on the computer screen. We could have Helen Mirren with Noah, which would give a whole new thing to the kind of hmm pair bonded. Mm. 
Yeah. I don't know that they do it on American TV in the mid-90s. No, um, no, I don't think they, they would. Maybe, no, I don't no. think they would. No. Uh, but it's a nice idea. Um, but yeah, Vira. David Duchovny. David Duchovny. Oh, as Noah. Noah. Yeah. Right, okay. He's doing a bit of moonlighting. He'd have to act. Because he couldn't get these with us. <laughs> I was thinking uh, he might have been a bit busy in 1986. Was he doing the X-Files at that point? He might have well been. Yeah. Time out. Yeah. <laughs> time out because he's a Doctor Who fan. <laughs> I don't know if he is. It doesn't matter. None of this ever happened. This is all yeah. fiction. They might give him a couple of weeks off, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. What's Julie Anderson doing? She's having a baby. Oh, that's fine. She can carry the show. Yeah. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, off to, I'm off to fight somewhere. In... <laughs> I must remember... <laughs> I was remember years ago at uh, me and Neil were at a code TV convention. It, w- it wasn't one of the ones that, that you two were at. Mm. And that, um, oh, what did they call the guy that played Skinner, the bald guy? Oh, um, I don't know the actor's name, but I can speak to him. Yeah. Skinner. He, yeah. Was, Skinner. he was there. Skinner. <laughs> he was there. And um, the, they had a kind of awards ceremony thing, this, this convention, where they kind of give awards for best show and best actor or something and david Duchovny won one obviously mm. wasn't there to connect it mm. uh, but that guy went up and he'd, he'd kind of sent a, a message to david Duchovny saying that he'd won it and he said i'd, I'd like to read out david's uh, statement david says i'd like to say to you all i only have one ball but it's huge <laughs> excellent <laughs> That, that, that was his statement about winning the award. I now want to know if it's true. <laughs> David Duchovny just became a lot more interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm fascinated. I want to know more about this, definitely. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, it was true. It was true for Hitler. So yeah, well, yeah. I don't think Hitler never was seen the, you never see the two of them together. <laughs> no. Yeah. That's it. One minute he's in a bunker in 1945, the next minute he's on the X-Files in 1991. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The truth is out there. Yeah. The truth oh. is out there. <laughs> Have we just started a conspiracy theory that David Duchovny Yeah, I just want to point out to the listener, we're not actually saying that David Duchovny is Hitler, okay? Or are we? Or are we? Joke. Yeah. No, we're not. Don't. No. <laughs> Maybe Baz knows something. I don't know. <laughs> Seen things, man. Are you Hitler? <laughs> Are you Nibor from the planet Vashia? <laughs> it's an interesting thing about the people from the planet Vashia. They've only got one ball, but it's huge. <laughs> <laughs> right, stop that. Silly. So we were talking about Doctor Who and um uh, yeah, by... occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's been known. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who did we say we're playing Vira? Is it Helen Mirren or is it someone else? Um, Terry Farrell, isn't it? Terry, Terry Farrell. Farrell. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Terry Farrell. Brilliant. She goes ahead and revives Grace, uh, which is nice of her. And uh, she doesn't really understand their speech. She thinks that they're colonists. Yeah. And uh, she explains that solar flares destroyed all life on Earth. Um, mm. And um, Lee does a bit of a strut at this point, talking about solar flares. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's demonstrating. Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. I've got uh, a feeling solar flares are going to save the day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. That's that some point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where we're going. So there's been a massive systems failure, which means that the virus overslept. She's uh, slept by yeah. several thousand years more than she should have done. And uh, it's obviously due to the whirr. The whirr, and they cut the wires. Why the whirr? The whirr. And uh, there's more There's more bubble wrap. We saw some bubble wrap <laughs> earlier moving around. There's more bubble wrap in the soda stack. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so, that arm thing, isn't it? I don't know. How, that's I don't know quite. Is it a larval form? I suppose it must be. Yeah. yeah. But I can't work it. Does that mean it's been in the larval form for thousands of years? How long has this um, worm larva been there? Well, no, 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 because the dead worm that falls out on people is the worm queen. So she got there and, and sort of, you know, shot her load uh-huh. um, <laughs> into the solar stacks, as yeah. you do. Yeah. Um, and then that's fine. It's a bit later the TARDIS crew turned up. So that grub's been itching about for a bit. No. It's been, they said they overslept by thousands of years, so the, the, the wearing has been there for thousands of years, sure. Yeah, the wearing might have just turned up last week. We don't know the wearing has been there for thousands of years. Oh, oh because okay. their clock went wrong. The clock went, went wrong because yeah. it cut the wires. Wire. Yeah. So it has to be. Well, yeah, yeah, the wearing has been there for thousands of years. 
All right. Damn it, the unsuccessful species. Then that's the <laughs> shit. Yeah. That's, that's terrible. It should take thousands of years to be paid. We'll, we'll get you in a thousand years' time. Yeah, going to smash yeah. your eggs. <laughs> it could be one of these things that just lays dormant for, for ages, like a frog in a Bacteria rock. thing. I mean, they can live in space, so they're they're pretty hardy. Maybe they're like tardigrades. Really kind of, long-lived, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Going yeah. to sleep for a thousand years now, and I'll be fine. Now yeah. I'll come and get you, right? Mm. So, I, I don't know. Yeah, the women clearly take thousands of years to pupate. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. All right. So uh, the doctor decides to go to the solar stack to fix it. Um, so he goes off down that what direction. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Vira revives Noah, who is the prime unit, and uh, he's David Duchovny. Okay. A bit, bit prettier than the original. Um, yep. Yep. But uh, yeah, he's he's immediately suspicious of them, mm -hmm. um, and he sort of chases after the doctor. And he wants to yeah. find out what he's up to in the solar stack. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it, 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 he's he's quite frosty with them, isn't he? And this isn't even when he's been infected. He's just a paranoid. No, he's, and he's a bit he's of a twat. A, he's he? a bit of a twat. Yeah, immediately, <laughs> immediately, virus going to leave. Look, you better just get out of here because he is going to fucking kill you. He, he's really, <laughs> no, he's, he's really jealous and angry, and he, he's a bit of a problem, I must say. <laughs> yeah. He's always yeah. talking about someone called Julian. I don't know who she is. <laughs> Hope she's dead in the solar flare. Yeah, it's... Lee has a strut. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's got a thing about the fact that he's only got one ball, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He keeps telling me the truth is out there, I don't know what he means. <laughs> <laughs> Just space, honestly, we're in space, it's <laughs> now out there. Look at the window, far like four oh, light years away, <laughs> near as it gets. Yeah. <laughs> Are they quite close to Earth or are they quite a long way? Because I don't know. Yeah, it's orbiting orbit. around Earth, isn't it? Is it orbiting around Earth? Yeah, I suppose it is. Yeah, yeah. In, the, yeah. In, the in the opening, you do. Terrible you do. Yeah. Yeah. There, so yeah, yeah. So it's and literally just down in the end. So yeah, so okay. they'll be yeah. able to see knackered Earth out of the yeah out the window. Yeah. Out the window. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got a problem with the ending of this, haven't we? It's coming. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll come to that. We'll come to that. We're telling you the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the doctor's in the solar stack. He finds uh, there's loads yeah. of green inside it, mm. um, so he kind of he locks it in basically. Which seems quite yeah. sensible. Um, and then he turns around. And there's Noah. He just zaps him. Yeah, <laughs> just, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. shoots the fucker. Yeah, shoots him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it. I'm done with it. Um, uh, who then? Yeah, he goes off to the control room. While this is going on, Vira finds that June is missing, mm -hmm. but it can't be missing. Frank Herbert wrote it years ago. The Duke will die before these eyes, and he'll know, he'll know that it is I, then Vladimir Harkonnen, who encompasses his doom. <laughs> I think we've discovered a major plot hole in the Ark in space. I'm afraid so. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, so it did happen recently then. Well, no, <laughs> unless it took June a thousand years ago, and they just take a thousand years to be paid from yeah. human. It Maybe it laid its egg inside too. June, but he's still in his suspended animation, so it took thousands of years for the egg to pop out. Yeah. Nah, but don't you see, like, the tentacle comes and opens the door, so... Oh, and then he goes... Whoa. No, he no, doesn't, no, doesn't. No, he just lies there. He just lies there, yeah. He just lies there. For some reason, I always, I always imagine that he's going to go, Whoa, but he doesn't at all, mm, does he? No. Mm, mm. Yeah. Maybe in the book he did. He might have done. Uh, yeah. I, I, let's just gloss over. Some Sometime back, the Wirren turned up and they did things to June. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah. and you just you know took it like a man. Just <laughs> um, yeah, it's basically eaten it, really, isn't it? It's... Yeah, yeah, he's sort of eaten him and turned him into him and got his memories and got his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he had a face hug on his head for a thousand years, and then I don't yeah, know. yeah, that sort um, of thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that idea is lovely, by the way, isn't it? I love the fact that the world absorb. Not just the flesh, but the intelligence. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is where I'm saying Quatermass kind of comes into it because it's that's yeah. very much you know um, a Quatermass experiment, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, there's no new ideas. No, there are no new ideas at all. Because they are sort of based on those wasps, aren't they? There's a type of a the wasp as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in, in it, yeah. 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 There was a thing on. There was some nature thing on the TV about it. They're pretty horrible. Yeah. Right. Mm. It's occurred to me that Robert Holmes had at this point already ripped off um, Quite a Mass 2 in uh, Spear from Space. Yeah. Yeah. So he was obviously a big fan of those, those series. Yeah. 
So, uh, yeah, it's not looking good because uh, Noah finds out about this, he's going to lose his shit. But June is missing, basically. And this is where he goes, uh, calls, he calls over the radio, basically. This is when he goes to the stack. So, yeah, and then Noah goes to the stack, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, where the green gets him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see the green breaking out. It breaks the glass. He shoots the doctor yeah. in the corridor. I remember now. Yeah, he That's shoots the doctor it, yeah, in the corridor. Yeah. And then he goes yeah. to the stack. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It breaks through the glass and gets him. Yeah. 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 Well, it kind of smears his arm a bit and he, he gives it some, some good pirouetting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does. This guy's really, I mean, he's he's quite intense. He's really kind of, he's oh, yeah. trying yeah. hard. <laughs> uh, perhaps a bit too hard at times. Um, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. So, uh, yeah, uh, Grace and Lee go to find the doctor who's been shot and uh, they they wake him up. He's, he's been shot mid-sentence. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, right where, uh, it right where it hurts. Yeah. Got him right in the sentence. <laughs> right, right in the one ball. Take that in your phonemes. <laughs> Army vowels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he gets shot and loses the use of his vowels. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never do a split infinitive again. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, when they they catch up with Noah, he basically arrests them. Um, and he, he takes them back to the, the cryo chamber uh, mm -hmm. where Vira is reviving uh, Libri. The Vira reviver. Oh, Libri. Do we need to cast yeah. Libri? I don't know. He's not um, Hanson. Hanson. Yeah, fair. Yeah. A Hanson. A Hanson. Well, one of the Hansons. <laughs> not both Hansons. <laughs> Just one. No, Hanson. no. Yeah. But they have a Hanson we haven't used previously. Yeah, the previously unused Hanson. <laughs> <laughs> well, Libri's only in it for five minutes. He just turns up to get shot. Yeah, yeah, he's not in it for long. He's, he, he's, he gets given a gun. He holds the gun on them. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And he's really crap at it. He's really crap at holding a gun on Noah. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he, he's so shit. He's not able to guard the prisoners. They immediately persuade him to nah. let him go. Nah. And then he goes he's, up for yeah, Noah. Libri is no use at all. Libri is terrible. He's there beyond me. I don't have no idea. Rogan, I can see the point of. <laughs> Rogan's all right, yeah. Libri, no. Yeah. Can't be bothered with Libri. I mean, Noah's already talking pretty weird. Um, yeah. Uh, he wants to stop the revivification, which uh, they can't quite understand. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they persuade Libri to go after him. Um, and, uh, yeah, he kills him. He kind of dithers after him. Yeah, he sort of wibbles after him. Yeah. It's, it's... Vaguely points a gun in his direction. Yeah. Eyes. Yeah. You know. And then just lets him take the gun off him and has the most amazing death scene. Great death scene. Um, <laughs> yeah. Great scene when Noah finally takes his hand out of his pocket <laughs> and it's yeah. not a hand, it's yeah. bubble wrap. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. He looks yeah. at it with the horror. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I imagine that this is going to be a lot more impressive. It couldn't not be. Um, yeah. It's going to be latex <laughs> and it's going to, it's probably going to it's look quite, be, well, I think it's quite horrible. Moving on it, it'll, it'll, it'll be a carapace. It'll be really yeah. unpleasant, probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 It'll be like it was in the book. Yes. Mm. Which was terrifying. You know, at one point his head splits apart and, and, and the Wirren comes out of it. Win by Ian Marta, wasn't it? He really went Ian for the Marta, body yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 he liked all that stuff. Yeah. It was a hell of a shock seeing Ark in Space at the Want in the late 80s. <laughs> um, and going, oh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I loved it, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. Also, the whole the whole Wirren stuff was, ah, okay, great. Yeah. Right. yeah. Right. Nothing like what happened in the book, which which shat me up big time. Um, <laughs> yeah. The book is dripping with gore. Yeah, yeah. Um, this this didn't this did not shit me up big time. It didn't even shit me down. It was just I wasn't even shat sideways. I was just kind of oh, good, good. good. <laughs> you were um, in no sense shitted up. <laughs> no, no, my my bowels, are, unlike Libri's, were fine. <laughs> You can imagine these kind of um, production meetings at Target Books with uh, Ian Martin. You know? He's like doing enemy. You're doing enemy of the world now. You're not going to put any gore in it. Are you? No, no, no. Can I oh, put the word um... bastard in? No, yeah. no, you can't. can't put the word bastard in a children's book. Oh, go on, just once, twice. Oh, so they come to work in space, right? All right, don't put any swear words in. Can I have gore? <sighs> <laughs> I think the Ark in Space was. His, I think the Ark in Space was his first one. I think that's the first game again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Is that the only time a Doctor Who book's been written by someone who was in it? He wrote the Santara experiment. He did the Santara well, experiment. Yeah, he did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So there's at least them. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, he wrote. No, he wrote several. He, he did Earth Shock. I know he did. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but he wasn't in that though. He wasn't in. That, oh, yeah. No, oh, no. I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you do an invasion? I might have done an invasion. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Harry Sullivan's War, which uh, yeah. I quite enjoyed. It's quite That's a good great. Read. I love that. I like it. Yeah. 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 It's got a Carrie Cole Rupert in it as well. It has. It has <laughs> it. Yeah. It's quite cool. A bodybuilder or something. Right. Wow. Okay. Bobby <laughs> Lightfoot's great grandson. <laughs> bodybuilder. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that <laughs> happening. Uh, him and Mrs. Hudson, you know, they got together one night, one lonely evening, you know, and uh, it was uh, the outcome. Be, it'll be the ancestor of the Pex twins as well. Yes. <laughs> the entire family of bodybuilders, you're just born like that. You don't have to work out or anything, just like that. <laughs> we should ta time ram Harry, Harry Sullivan's War. Yeah. What if Harry Sullivan's War starred Toto? You know, that sort of thing. Yeah. As long as they don't have to read the Earthling Dilemma again. <laughs> I quite like the Earthling Dilemma. I don't have a problem with it. Um, I thought, you know what? I can't remember it. I read it when it came out. <laughs> mm. and, well, and I don't know. It's a long time since I read it, but my only memory of it is that it's so similar structurally to um, Blake 7 Afterlife. Afterlife. Right. Mm. The only other Tony Atwood book. Yeah, that yeah. Is. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're, they're, they're just so similar in tone. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. It's like he had one trick and, you know, that was it. That was it. Yeah. Well, you know, he made a living out of it. Yeah. All my travelings throughout the universe, I have battled against evil, against power mad conspirators. I should have stayed here. The oldest civilization, decadent, degenerate. And rotten to the core. Power Mac conspirators, Daleks, from Tarans, Cybermen. They're still in the nursery compared to us. Ten million years of absolute power. That's what it takes to be really corrupt. Where were we? Um, we kind of reached the end of episode two, the original version. Yeah. yeah. If we're doing this as a two-parter, which I don't see why we wouldn't, let's yeah. presume yeah. the end of episode one. We can do what we like. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We can. In the Ghana era, we can do what the fuck we like. Yeah, we can. Is his head splitting up then? Is it like the oh. thing? I think yeah, it's probably, like it's thing. probably his head yeah. splitting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah it'll be a bit more extreme than they would get with, way with on the BBC in the 70s. Already. There's no threat to the Doctor here, though, is there? I think I think in, in this series, mm. they would have a threat, a direct threat to the Doctor at the end of episode one. So maybe the Doctor's there looking at Noah going, hello, Noah. And then Noah's yeah. head splits open and it's kind of, ooh. Okay, yeah, maybe he's yeah. left Libri behind for a while then, um, and he's turned up to himself to kind of check out what's happening. Yeah. Or maybe he's gone with Libri, Libri dies, and the Doctor's there confronting the head splitting. Yeah. Mm. Well, the Doctor's there confronting Noah, going, look, you know, you're not acting right, and you killed Libri, and that's, you know, we're all grateful, but that is wrong. Um... <laughs> yeah, I can't help noticing there, you've killed Libri, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you, that's not right. You know, yeah, I've, got, I've, yeah. I've, got, I've got to draw a line there and say, you know, you've, 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 actually, you've done people. a murder. Yeah. Uh, you've done a murder right in front of me. And as far as I'm concerned, that's wrong. You go and die. It's just wrong. Yeah. 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 And we're so going to have to let you go. By splitting us open. Well, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> if all murderers did that, there'd never be anyone in prison. <laughs> yeah. And the doctor goes, oh, fuck. And they end of episode. <laughs> yeah. 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 Poor canal. Fuck right now. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> you got right, Wah. <laughs> Just looks like your head split. <laughs> we get a recorded address played over the tannoy. It's the, the prison yeah. of Earth. We don't, we don't. Not at this point, not in this version. In particularly episode three, we get the doctor getting out of it. Maybe this voice comes in and saves him. Ah. Yeah. Because Noah gets all emotional about it. Yeah. Split open head. With his open head, he kind of gets a bit distracted. Excellent. He's like, ah, I remember. Yeah, totally that will work completely well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, joining in. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he does re regain his humanity for a little while anyway. Mm. Um, so the doctor can leg it out there. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he's he's able to warn Vira the, the, the amount of danger that they're in. This is the scene where, in the original version, he takes Vira to meet Noah, mm -hmm. and it's very abrupt. Yeah. They meet him in the corridor, and he starts yeah. talking, and then it's the over. It's very obvious. It stops. It's yeah. like it's really jarring. Um, yeah, yeah. Apparently, his performance was too intense. Yeah, I don't know if that means shit. It may, it may have been that I his think performance it, I don't, was I don't shit. Think it does. I don't think it does. I think it means too intense. I think you know the, yeah. the, the just thought, oh, fuck, this is a bit much. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
I mean, here's said in interviews a couple of times, look, you know, you'd read something on a page and that's fine. But then when the actor's doing it, it's yeah. Yeah. so much more. It is a shame. I feel like we're missing something with the scene. Um, I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. It does jar. It means they kind of go there, they meet him and then they come away again without having. I think no, we'll, no, keep no. The scene. we'll keep the we'll, scene. Let's keep the scene, you know. Um, I think, yeah, they and also Myra's the reaction afterwards of going, you know, she's 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 acting that really well. She just used quietly, you know, Noah and I were pair bonded for the new life. After yeah. her yeah. husband to be has just been going, kill me, please. Yeah, um, Wendy great. Williams, isn't it? Yeah, she's absolutely yeah. brilliant in this. She is. She is. Uh, she's really, really good. She's great. Yeah, absolutely superb. Yeah, never lets the mask slip. Vira never lets the mask slip. Mm. You know, the character rather than the actor, which is means the performance is perfect. It's, it's um, very, yeah. very solid. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, um, Grace and um, Lee have been left to complete the revivification. It's quite good that Grace is a doctor because obviously they give this role to Harry. <laughs> yeah. But she can pick this up. She can be yeah. you know, reviving yeah. with it. Um, yeah, yeah. She's being very efficient around the place and Lee's following around. Yeah. That yeah. excellent trolley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excellent trolley. <laughs> you can buy them, you know. That was a bolt a bolt thing. I think it was a Swedish sort of design at the time. Uh, right. Well, you could buy them. I don't think you can buy them now, but yeah. I'd like one. <laughs> Maybe somebody will send you one. Yes. Have them in IKEA. <laughs> it's not be right. called a be called a nerg or something. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> like <laughs> of it. Yeah. I used to go in IKEA quite often. I really miss it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So southern. <laughs> Did you hear about the the bloke who he, he went into an IKEA and he kind of put lots of signs in that point in random directions so you couldn't find your way out? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> he, got, he got arrested. <laughs> <laughs> they threw the book at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they revive all the crew. Balls. Eh? They still do meat balls. Uh, yeah, IKEA, so. I presume so. Yeah. 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 Yeah, they're always nice. Yeah. 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 You only get one, but it's huge. It's <laughs> 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 uh, that folks is called a callback. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the, they revive uh, some more texts. The last text we've got Rogan and Lysett. Mm-hmm. I love Rogan. I just Rogan's love great. Him. Yeah. The moment you meet him, he's coming complaining about it. He's just so human and wonderful. Yeah, don't get attached to Lysett, but Rogan's great. No, yes. no. Um, well, you couldn't get attached to Lysett unless you were a lamprey. <laughs> <laughs> Any ideas of who play who plays Rogan in 1990s America? Um, Jonathan Frakes. Jonathan, too good looking. Um, <laughs> Peter Fork. Peter Fork. That'd be quite nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. In, a, in a day off from Columbo. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought, what the hell? Why not? Just one more thing. And he's dressed in exactly the same way. He's got a shambolic old <laughs> raincoat. <laughs> <and everything. laughs> he's got a cigar on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, to snitch up. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're not happy. Uh, so uh, when the Doctor and Vira get back, they're basically they're trying to discuss their situation, trying to work yeah. out how they're going to survive. Like going, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it is a bit like one of those scenes where Alien, they're like, "What are we going to do? We're fucked." Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're going to they need to find some weaknesses. Oh, Yafet Koto. Yafet Koto. Wow. Yes. There you go. That'd be amazing. There you go. Yes. Excellent. And he's like really aggressive about it. <laughs> With Harry Dean Stanton as Lysett. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Amazing. <laughs> Excellent. I was Harry Dean Stanton, I was never able to differentiate between if you saw him interviewed on anything, you would just think mm. you're exactly the same as every character you <laughs> yeah. play. Yeah. 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 To a Tom Baker <laughs> level. <laughs> you're just exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they need to find some weaknesses in the world. Well, they're all dead. Oh. Um, and uh, so um, the Doctor, he basically, he persuades Fire to pause the revivification. Mm-hmm. 
because it's like they're all going to be eaten like a load of jelly babies within a few days. So there's, there's absolutely no point in continuing. So uh, this is where they start playing with the, with the eye. They take the eye off the model, yeah. uh, off the prop, and uh, he, he hooks up some electric to it to try and get TV pictures. Mm-hmm. Um, and eventually he has to put his own brain into the circuit, otherwise it doesn't mm-hmm. work. Yeah. So it's one of those typical Doctor Who scenes where he's like, right, you can't wake me, you can't move me, I've got to do yeah. this thing. Yeah. yeah, And that's it. McGann will be great at that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Grace will be monitoring it. Grace will be kind of like hovering around doing Doctor things. Yeah. 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 Maybe Grace and Vira are having a bit of a kind of Doctor off, you know, she's going, no, I know this kid. And, and Grace is going, just watch it. I will fuck you up. And Vira's going, well, I'm trying to help. Like, no, I will fuck you up. <laughs> Chang Lee's all kind of like, yeah, she will fuck you up. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen her fuck people. It's not nice. Yeah, so uh, they they do start to access were and memories. Uh, they see mm-hmm. it bored in the station at Eaton June. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jumping, peeping. <laughs> I think June is going to wake up in this and go, ah! Yeah, it is, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, fuck! And then be kind of dramatically <laughs> overwhelmed, you know, from a point of view yeah. shot. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's gone. Seems dissolved. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure we'll go that far. No, <laughs> no, <possibly> but... <laughs> We're not Ian Marty in him. <laughs> so there's there's a grub. There's a grub in the other room. Mm-hmm. Comes yeah. in um, and kills Lysa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's the usual thing that they're trying to fight this thing off. This is going to be like a green version of the fluid that's the master in the telly movie. Yeah, I, mm, I think it'll be a blobby CGI CG thing. Green, yeah, yeah. but but CGI. Everything it's alien green. is green in the seventies, isn't it? It's always green. Yeah. Green. Yeah. green, 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 green. Yeah, apart from the Zombies. True. Yeah, they both. Seems like he isn't green. Davros actually isn't green either. Thinking about it, all the Daleks. <laughs> None of the androids of Tara are green. Okay. Um, the Shrivenzal but... is green. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. You let me have that. Okay, good. Yes. We'll Taran Woodbeast is not. <laughs> Romana should have been green. She's blue once. And Destiny of the Daleks, when she you know regenerates into all those forms, one of them is blue. Yeah. But yeah. she's not green. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ultimately, I refute the assertion that everything was green in the 70s. I'm, 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 Sorry, I'm Karen. Good. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Lee and Rogan, they get some guns. Basically, they manage to find some yeah. guns. So they fight. Uh, they fight Noah off, and uh, yeah. they they fight this grub. Basically, um, yeah. It's going to be a bit more action, I suppose. In the in the, it's going to yeah. be more action. It's going to be less Stuart Fell in bubble wrap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And the guns aren't going to just go. Pew. Yeah, I quite like. I'm, I'm going to build one of those one day. I love that gun. <laughs> yeah. The flower <laughs> petal thing, lovely design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All done with elastic bands. I've seen photos of the inside of it. Yeah, yeah, bands. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So obviously, yeah, they fight this grub. Basically, the doctor yeah. eventually recovers, and um, yeah, they can kill grubs with guns, but to kill the adult, burn. Uh, burn. there's only electricity that would do the job. Yeah, electricity and big explosions that would do the job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Electricity, big explosions, and one massive ball. <laughs> After the job. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. They generate static electricity from Lee's uh, nylon <laughs> flares, flares. The solar flares. There yeah, you go. Yeah, okay. yes. Oh, yeah. and to make it work, he has to strut around and you get them. You see, I thought we'll come back to the music of the Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah. Like staying alive. He used yeah. that. To- the, the the attack thing early on yeah yeah and so there there we go great that's that how that's, that's the, the climax just going, more static <laughs> that's yeah. the climax is him standing on the on the hull in his flares doing the same life yeah 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 excellent brilliant brilliant i mean that'll be a classic people talk about for years fantastic um, yeah <laughs> either of you remember nylon sheets from when you were a kid did you have nylon sheets i think i had nylon sheets no um yeah, I think so. Mm. They sound horrible. Um, they were horrible. If you like turned over quickly on them, you just get, it would just think it goes, and you'd get like a kind of scab on your knee where you kind of <laughs> literally burned yourself on a nylon sheet. Maybe that's why I didn't have them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm the same. I think I was generally cotton. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's only when I was very young, I, I don't think my parents had a lot of money at that time, but yeah. they had these nylon sheep. They were always like bright orange or something. You know, it's the 70s. 70s, yeah. It was yeah, like, yeah. like orange or bright lime green or something. It's only in the 70s that they'd sell bright orange nylon sheets. That's the only time. Yeah, yeah. 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 and bright lime green at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. The colors of the aliens. Leaves yeah. Just so yeah. we know. Just so we know. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. In case anyone wants to illustrate this, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And everything else is yeah. brown. Just, you know, brown. Yeah. I hate when you, I'm going off topic again here, but I hear when you <laughs> see things now that are set in the 70s quite often, that, that, you know, obviously they put this brown filter on everything to make them look mm-hmm. nicotine stained. But yeah. they've, they've, they've got this thing now occasionally where you'll see in somebody's house with like wallpaper yeah, sort of peeling off a bit. And I was thinking, I don't remember anybody's house being like that in the 70s. Yeah. No, yeah. no. I mean, people yeah. generally were clean, I think. There was, it yeah. Wasn't, you know, <laughs> wasn't the we 40s. Had the same basic access to sanitation that we have now. Yes. Yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. There was soap. Um, <laughs> yes. Yep, yep. Um, okay, so Noah's got them trapped, basically. So uh, they... Oh, they yeah. This doesn't really go anywhere, but they kind of they use the transmat to get to the control room uh, oh, yeah. to access the electric cables. But then Noah fucks off, and he, he's uh, <laughs> they're on their own. They've gone into the pupil stage. There's loads of them inside the soda stack. Well, they're all they're all growing. They're all coming out of their eggs, yeah. aren't they? Then, well, I mean, they get a little pause in between where the doctor's able to come out of the the uh, the cryogenic chamber and oh, yeah. kind of have a, have a quick look at it. Um, oh, is that when Noah does his final transformation? That's when Noah comes in, yeah. and he's kind of. Yeah. Like the last vestige of human face disappears yeah. and he's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gone full wear and yeah. Yeah. Um you know how we'll do that. Of course having his head split open earlier on, there's not much. His head split open that. earlier, so I mean we've gone full yeah. body horror with it. Yeah. So Yeah, you just have a little bit of human face and that just like it just off. falls off. <laughs> <laughs> his eye flops out. <laughs> yeah. That's on the floor. Sizzles. <laughs> no. Yeah. So uh Vira and um Grace arrive and basically shoot him. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but uh, yeah, he, he's able to warn them to leave. Uh, they get some yeah. information out of him at this point. Uh, humans destroyed their breeding colonies in uh, in um, Andromeda. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now, so the were and they Vira, in... rather than saying sorry, goes, "Wow, our pioneers made it. Yeah, yeah, made it and committed genocide. You twat. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> your takeaway. Yeah, <laughs> bloody human. Same again. Um, yeah." yeah. But, but they're got... actually they're, they're entirely justified in all this. Entirely <laughs> yes. justified, yeah. I mean, they, really, they, you know, they've got a taste for human knowledge now. That's kind of yeah. made them go a yeah. bit, a bit, um, uh, a bit uh, Trump on them. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, they're, they're justified in their immense anger. <laughs> yes, yeah. they really are. A human, yeah. Uh, humanity, yeah. yeah. So uh, let's hope they don't all get blown up at the end. That would be a terrible. That would be terrible. Well, they're not going to. Yeah. They're going to get BG to death now. <laughs> <They're gonna get laughs> of course they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Respect is kind of worse. <laughs> it shows no respect. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, everyone basically um, makes it to the transport ship, which has got its own power. They can't use the power from the stack. Because it's full mm. of wear. Um, so uh, yeah, they they go to the transport. We'd actually ship. see it full of now. They would, yeah, would would have a would multiply the one puppet prop they have. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. yeah. would actually see it full of wear. See, see loads of wear in there, yeah. yeah, pupating. Yeah, coming out of their larval sacs. Yeah, all giving yeah. it that fantastic kind of <laughs> sound. Yeah, yeah. Which I've always yeah. loved. Yeah, um, it's quite a nice set here underneath the. Um, mm. Yeah. The, the transport ship, and they got the they can see the engines there. It's quite, yeah, quite yeah. nicely done. Yeah, um, all the sets in this are good. Yeah, they're, they're good sets. Like yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. So they need to run a cable from there to the cryo chamber to electrify it, so mm-hmm. the burn can't get in. Um, and the solution turns out to be that uh, someone has to climb through the pipes. Indeed. Uh, which works nicely with you know Sarah. She's quite slim. Can you imagine her getting yeah. through there. Uh, Grace, of course, she's in a massive opera gown. <laughs> no, she's not. No, 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 no she's no, lost she's that. Lost that. that. Burned it earlier on, remember? She burned yeah. it earlier. She's in the white trouser suit, so it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so she'll probably do it as well. <laughs> she's, right. she's frictionless. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's found Andrew Bernie's Jay's fluid. She's like, right. <laughs> Bernie's Jay's fluid. Fucking <laughs> Give me a push. <laughs> 
Well, is that an artifact they've kept on the Ark? You know, <laughs> yeah. This is a 20th century. This is revered. Don't talk to Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Grace. No. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I was just going off on one. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they couldn't use Lee because in all that nylon, he's just the. He's, he's going to stick. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. the opposite of yeah. friction. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, you'll get scratches all. Start a fire, you know. It'll be, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You just combust. <laughs> <laughs> so we get some nice tense scenes here, don't we? Where she's climbing through the the, the conduits, and there's there's yeah. there's Warren just on the other side in the stack. Yeah, I imagine this would probably look quite good. I think it'll look great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'll probably go around the outside, so there's a bit that's exposed to space. You know, there's a glass there, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we all like that. Yeah, then she'll see boards of wearing outside. She'll see the swarm, swarming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so there's there's a lovely scene in the original version, obviously, where she gets stuck just just near the end, and uh, yeah. the doctor. I don't I don't know if they do this now, but the doctor kind of. Angers her through the, to the end of it, yeah. Uh, before telling her how proud he is of her, um, might not do it now, but they might have done it in the late the mid nineties. They might have done. They might have done actually. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he has to talk her down in the end, but uh, it kind of establishes her, their relationship. I think it's quite nice. Yeah, he could go old scouse. He could be. Yeah, you'll never get through there with your fat ass. <laughs> Probably cut that. <laughs> oh no, keep that. Keep that. <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure we'd say that. Uh, all Scousers. <laughs> <laughs> Many Scousers are perfectly nice people, and I have a lot of respect for them. Please don't come to my house. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, so uh, they're, they're able to sort of connect the power. They repel the uh, the, the worm on there. Yeah. Um, but it's not a permanent solution. They're a bit stuck now. Yeah. Um. They got uh, the Doctor and Grace in the cryo chamber, and the rest of them kind of on the on the transport ship. Yeah, um, yeah, which is fine until the Warren start coming over the hull towards them. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, they need a plan. Yeah. yeah, they need a plan to stop the Warren. They need an alternative generator. Yeah, yeah. that's what they need. And this is where Rogan goes. Ah, four Granovox turbines. I love Granovox turbines. <laughs> um, but, but in this instance, I think it hasn't got four Granovox turbines, or maybe it's got like three, and one yeah. of them is a bit dodgy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How we're going to generate the rest of the power? And <laughs> the guy goes, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> puts two and two together and then puts some nylon together and rubs it. Yeah. Yes. That's the lead. Get out there and dance. Get out there and dance, <laughs> boy. Yeah. And connects them up with like electrodes. Yes. To a solar flares. Um, yeah, and off we go, and they basically electrify the hole, basically in that case, yeah, fry them, yeah, yeah. And he's wearing like a really nineties uh, discman, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course so, he is, so of course he is. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. from yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's got his seventies rubber boots yeah. on, so he's all right. He's he's, he's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Vira goes, "Oh no, we can do better than that." She presses the button, and like a hologram of the actual Bee Gees appears. <laughs> And it's the actual Bee Gees coming and doing a cabin, <laughs> obviously, and that's great. And then also goes, I remember when my father, Ulysses, met the Bee Gees. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we'll get to yeah. Ulysses. Yeah. I've got a place ready for you. Oh, have you? Oh, okay. I, I've, got, I've got Ulysses. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm down with uh, that. So, um, yeah, I'm guessing that Rogan maybe survives because I can't see what would happen to him at this point. So maybe he makes oh, it to the end because uh, they defeat the Warren at this point. Yeah, he will make it to the uh, end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's great. Lovely. Good. Good. Yeah. Yafikoto survives. Yafikoto survives. Yeah. Settles down with Vira. They go off to the planet Earth. <laughs> uh, oh, he becomes prime unit. Becomes prime <laughs> unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's... Um, I guess we can have... We do have a redeeming moment at the end here where Noah, Noah gets his memories back and basically... Yeah. Uh, it's implied that he's, or strongly implied, rather, that he, he, help, he helps them at the end there. Indeed. And indeed. portrays the worm. Yeah. Um, they, all, they all swarm onto the ship and, and launch the ship and off it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, so well, his whole goodbye guys. via a bit might be a little less poignant after being BG'd out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mine work quite as well. <laughs> you have to balance the pros and cons. You know, you're, you're coming at this, true, you know. True, yeah. 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 Put the BGs um, in Doctor Who, so yeah, yeah. result. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll, 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 we'll take we'll the goodbye, Vira. Uh, <laughs> not staying alive. <laughs> it's oh. a tragedy. And <laughs> <laughs> started a joke. <laughs> um. Yeah. So that's it, really. And then, yeah. and then, and then, they're all about to go down to the to the earth mm-hmm. when suddenly the spirit of Ulysses appears to the doctor, right. going, "Nah, don't do this, man." And and the doctor goes, "Yeah, all right, we'll not do that." Rogan, you do it. You and Vira do it. We'll go off to the TARDIS instead. Um, yeah. And they all go, "Why?" And I go, "Because my father Ulysses told me to." And they all go, "Because mm. yeah. there's great awe around Ulysses." Well, he's, um, he's given them another quest, which is going to lead into the next story. Wherever that ends he's up, given so. he's given them a quest. He's yeah, another quest of some kind. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, I could just jump ahead from the ensplainment and find out what the next quest's going to be, and then we can fill <laughs> it in. It won't what... necessarily be the Eighth Doctor. We don't know. We don't <laughs> so, know. Yeah, <laughs> so it won't. So it's it not going to help us. Yeah. No, it won't. It never helps us, does it? Fine, <laughs> fine. We'll just pick up next time. All right. Okay. Next time we encounter the wacky eighth Doctor era. Yeah, it is wacky. Ensplainment. 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 So yeah, we should probably should ensplain. We should ensplain. Yeah. Yeah. That's not better. It's, it's not, not better. It's great. It's not <laughs> better. I think it would be quite good. It's actually. great. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a great script. And it's a great script. Damaged by that. The effects it would be would better. Look amazing. It would look fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the yeah. BG in it. It's got. It's got Yaffa <laughs> Cotto. I mean, that's that's got Yaffa Cotto. Strong. Yeah. You know, impressive and David Duchovny. Yeah. Yeah. David Duchovny. Yeah, um, I forgot about that. Yeah. So it's absolutely got its own merits. So even Stevens, I'll say. Yeah. I think it's going to be a classic. Yeah, I'll give it a nine out of ten. Uh, I think it's uh, right. Going to be right. really good. Yeah, uh-huh. I think they'll do it right. I think they'll do it right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Paul? <laughs> it's not going to be as good, is it? Okay, fine. <laughs> In some <laughs> ways, no. In other ways, five out of ten. <laughs> five. Oh. Ooh, cutting. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it an eight then. If we're doing numbers, all right. <laughs> We haven't, we haven't done, we haven't done numbers for a while, but yeah, I feel like maybe no, we should. No, we keep forgetting to do numbers. Yeah, time we can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just to kind of, you know. And speaking of numbers. Ooh. Yes. Segue. Indeed. The Doctor is David Tennant. Oh, I've heard of him. Mm-hmm. Number 10, <laughs> should be. 10, yeah. Ten. Yeah, Gina. ten, ten, yes, yes, yes. Not Gina. Right, okay. Yeah, 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 no, good point, good point. And the story is 119. Okay, I think that's going to be 80s. Uh, I think it's going to be 80s as well. 119, did you say? Hmm. Is it Earth Shop? Okay, there it is, um, The Visitation. Yeah. Oh. Which I don't think we've done. I was thinking we had that, but we haven't had it. I don't think so, no. So, yeah, yeah, the visitation. Um, That's going to be really easy. I can see that. Oh, Blake. Oh, Oh, no, rats. I love rats. Oh, Oh, Blake, for ages. Oh, no, they're infected. And he becomes Massmith. (laughs) (laughs) And you do that every episode. Uh, (laughs) We're going to have that same problem we have every time we get a Davison story with anybody else. There's just shit loads of companions in it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's fine. You've got Rose, yeah, Donna, at least Martha, one of them. Captain Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> the end of the season. It all turned up. Yeah. 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 Sarah. <laughs> Donna. K9. Yeah. Rose's mum. All there. Rose's mum. Yeah. Rose's dad. Yeah. Adam. <laughs> The Cyberman. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks. You've been listening to Time Ram. I've been Barry Williams. And with me tonight have been Rupert Booth and Paul Ferry. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. Goodbye. Good stuff. I need to thank Ben Jones for our music. Thanks, Ben. What else do we do? Uh, we, we, you can find us on the internet. Thank you. <laughs> it's not the 80s 
if you want to go to the uh, the hellscape that used to be Twitter, uh, you can find us on there. I'm on there as at last time around. I might still be on there when you hear this. I don't know. I'm debating. The don't leave. Don't let them drive you away. <laughs> uh, Rupert's there as at Rupert Booth. Uh, Paul is at Paul Ferry 8. Myself and Paul can also be found on Tumblr. And um, I believe you're on Instagram, Paul. Is that right? I am, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't ask me about my thing. What well, your handle is on that. I don't know. I just feel like we should check out some of these places. I don't know. I'm on threads as well. I'm fucking everywhere. I still haven't got any followers. <laughs> I, I don't know. The problem with I have with threads is the title. It just sounds really dystopian. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For anyone who lives through the 80s threads, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's yeah. A, it yeah, doesn't yeah, sound yeah. like a happy place. No, um, no. I, I probably should try it out. Uh, yes, okay, so uh, we also have our own website, uh, tyram.com. You can find us on Facebook, there's a Facebook group, and uh, we also have our own Patreon site if you'd like to support the show. Drop us a few pennies on the Patreon site, and you get access to all kinds of extra content, such as reviews of the latest season starring in Shooty Casper. And another way to support the show, if you can't manage that, is uh, just leave us a nice review. Um, I have noticed on one of the various sites out there that we do seem to have a few nice uh, five scores, five star scores, which uh, boosts us up to the ranks a bit. So that's very helpful to us as well. It gets the message out there. Is it you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, we don't know how we're clueless. Uh, uh, yeah, that's that's why it wasn't me. I was not trying to do about that. I'm not forget it. Um, so join us next time for David Tennant in the Visitation. Yeah. Oh, it's a Visitation. I love Visitations. Black Guardian is right out. Direction point! Direction point! A Doctor Who Podcast Network.